Australian snakes have a fierce reputation. We're known to have some of the largest, some of the fastest, and some of the most venomous snakes in the world. But have you ever stopped and wondered just which snake holds each title? Well, today, with a little help from our snake expert, Totally Wild will be crowning Australia's top snakes. Let's start with Australia's fastest snake. OK, well, when we're talking about speed, uh, we're not actually sp speaking about the ground travel, it's about striking. Like, there's a couple of contenders. Um, the Taipan is extremely fast. The Eastern Brown can strike 12 times in two seconds. But the title would have to go to the Death Adder. I mean, the Death Adder is an extremely slow snake when it comes to moving on the ground, but they are by far the fastest striking snake in Australia. They can strike 1 25th of a second, which is a lot faster than we can blink. So that's the fastest out of the way. What about the largest? Australia's longest venomous snake would have to go to the coastal taipan. They can grow in excess of 11 foot, but they're only a fairly slender snake. But when it comes to Australia's largest and heaviest body venomous snake, it's the king brown or mulga snake. These guys can grow well in excess of 3.5 metres and as thick as your forearm. So they're quite a heavyweight. Now, when it comes to Australia's largest snake overall, it's the scrub python or Amstein python. Those guys are found up north and they can grow to 28 foot long, 8.5 metres, and are capable of eat eating wallabies, like 20 to 30 kilo wallabies. The snakes themselves usually weigh about 39, 40 kilos when they're fully grown. It is widely known that Australia is home to the top 10 most venomous snakes in the world. But which one takes number one? Is it the tiger snake? Is it the brown snake? Actually, it's uh, the fear snake, otherwise known as the inland taipan. It's considered the most venomous land animal on the planet. One drop of venom is capable of doing some pretty serious harm to over 100 healthy humans. Um, luckily enough, there's been no recorded fatalities from that breed of snake because of the, the locality of where they're found. They're found in very arid areas of Australia where there's very little population of humans. Um, also, they're normally a fairly placid snake, but any bites that have occurred have been treated successfully with anti -venine. But just because it's the most venomous, doesn't mean it's the most dangerous. When we're talking about the most dangerous, you've got to take into, a number, uh, take into account a number of factors. Some of them being the fang length, the toxicity of their venom, their attitude, whether they're grumpy or not, uh, also their venom yield. For example, you look at the coastal taipan, and when you speak to snake handlers like myself, we probably consider them to be the, the most to worry about because of the fact they are fairly intelligent. They also have very long fangs compared to other Australian snakes and they are number three when it comes to venom strength in the world. Um, you look at venom yield, the, um, the title goes to the King Brown by far, nothing even comes close to him. He's capable of giving you up to 1,350 milligrams of venom in a bite. And when you look at, for example, Taipan or an Eastern Brown, they'll only give you a 0.2 milligram of venom in a bite. Um, but what I would consider to be the most dangerous snake in the world would be the Eastern Brown because of the fact it has a very short fuse um, it's the second most toxic snake in the world and it's found all the way up and down the east coast of Australia in including very heavily populated areas. So, Eastern Brown.